A1 title. As Lee just corrected me there, it's a, it seems to be a vacant title, a vacant middleweight title under K1 rules. Um, two, two very good fights. I've not seen John Cain's fight before. I have seen Tom Russell fight on the Inferno card, one of Ryan Coopland's shows. Uh, I was very impressed with Tom Russell, actually, fighting out of uh, the Fight Academy, Berwick upon Tweed. Um, my, my old, uh, one, of, one of my former hometowns, Berwick upon Tweed. So. Uh, as I was very impressed with Tom Russell, a very technical fighter, mixes up his punches and kicks very well, and can be quite flashy too. Yeah, John's uh, the same. John's a uh, very technical fighter. He likes to mix it up as well. These two have actually fought before. John winning the last time at a, uh, a different weight. And uh, on the Facebook, they were saying Tom Russell's never lost the same fight twice, so it should be interesting. It should be interesting. Let's see what he can come back with. If he was beat before on points. Points, yeah. Yep. Both fighters looking for an opening there. Tom Russell coming in with a jab, low kick. Kane's coming back with a low round kick there. Low blow there. Looks like it was an inside leg kick that landed on Russell's groin. He's taking him out of the fight there. He's allowed five minutes to recover. John bringing a lot of support from the night as uh, the Millennium lot always do. Absolutely, Millennium are really well supported tonight. They've got had a lot of fighters on the card. They've all done very, very well tonight. Some first round, second round stoppages. Must have been a pretty, pretty clean shot there for Tom to take this much time to recover. Yeah, I didn't really see it, James. It seemed to happen a bit fast. It's, it was, I think it was an inside low kick that was then that guided up into the into the groin. Now Tom's a tough guy, so Russell, Tom Russell is taking this rest because he obviously clearly needs it. He's allowed five minutes. The referee's going to wave them back in, and here we go again. Okay, Russell on the back foot a little bit, then he comes forward with a right round kick to the body and a left jab. Kane's looking to mix his shots up, not sticking particularly to one, one technique, coming in with the low kicks, high punches. Going back to the jab. Nice body kick there. Yeah, poor fighters landing good uh, kicks to the body when they fall them. Tom Russell oh, lovely checking shot the there. kick there. Half took the gloves, half took the head. Kane's really wanting this. Russell not on the back foot, looking to teep there to the head, missing that shot, falling a little bit short. Uh, Tom Russell taking that on the gloves there. Nice boxing on the inside by yeah. John Kearns. Nice clean boxing there from John. Kane's really thinking about his work. He's not just flying in, he's not just jumping in with shots. He's really thinking and, and uh, anticipating the shots he's about to throw. Looking for the gap, seeing him and then landing the shots. Just a slip there from Kane's, no knockdown. Yeah, I think, I think they're both trying to uh, pick their shots and not trying to rush in. It's probably because they've got a bit of respect for each other for uh, fighting before as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think with the, the last fight they've had have been so close and, and Kane's nipping the win. And they're both going to have a tremendous amount of respect for each other's abilities. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely overhand fight, right. Tom there caught with a little short combination. Right hand looked like a left hook on the inside. Kane's landing the body, the body kicks as well. Oh. Clean knockdown, that is a knockdown. We need to give that a count. I think that was a count there. I don't think the referee should be sending the fighter back to the corner without counting in case he's hurt. That was a that was a definite uh, not, that was a definite knockdown. A punch landed, and the fighter touched touched the canvas with his back. That should have been a knockdown. Sorry, a count. However, with it not being counted, the judges won't score it as, so that's likely. Well, I would have had that as a 10-9 round, but with the knockdown not counted, will there still, how will that affect the judges? I think Kane's perhaps just called, scored the cleaner shots, and uh, you know, your head kicks usually outscore your, your low kicks, but certainly the cleaner shots were landed by Kane's, which would have been a 10-9 round. However, 
without even with a knockdown not counted it was some clean shots coming back from Russell so it'll be interesting to see how that scored both fighters now looking for an opening testing out with some low kicks come up with a nice inside round kick to the body there from Keynes missing with a jab Russell going to southpaw temporarily oh that's it Jesus Christ that was a clean I don't inside think round that's kick any coming back from that, James. that's the end of the fight that's the fight over let's get Russell back into the ring here let's make sure the fighters the fighters health is first here that was a clean round kick to the head and Russell, the medic's gone straight in there with him. It was an excellent time kick by John Cairns here. I don't think he could have timed it or landed Kane. any better. Noticing Kane staying on his knees and waiting to get up before he knew Russell was okay. And then going straight over to the fighter to make sure he's okay. Complete respect there from Keynes. Yeah, John, John's a very respectful lad. Inside the ring, as you can see, he's an animal, but outside the ring, he's a completely different person. You would never think he was a fighter if you just met him the first time. And they're sometimes the best fighters, the ones that don't show it outside of the ring. I think the paramedic will want to have a good look at Tom Russell after the fight, just to make sure there's no... You know, when you're taking a shot like that, and even when you recover, you don't know what that's done to your, to your brain, to be quite honest with you. And uh, once he's checked his eyes and make sure he's all right, and, and I think what he'll ask him to do is to just keep an eye on himself, have somebody keep an eye on him for the next 24 hours to make sure there's no uh, extended effects from that shot. Yeah, I, I totally agree there, James. Uh, he was out soon as the kick landed. You've seen his eyes roll at the back of his head. I mean, uh, it was a nasty knockout. out. We've got a winner by way of knockout after 22 seconds of round number two. And your new fight first for the new FFC middleweight K1 champion, John Joker Kane.